Stop goofing off. Take that ornament to Satyrus already. Nothing there. There's another of those scummy beasts. One less monster around. One less monster around. Are you mad? Get out of here. It's too dangerous in these vaults for a would-be adventurer. But say, don't I know you? Of course, you bastard! Don't think that I could have forgotten how you betrayed us in the new camp.
You drained our mound of ore of all magic power, and then simply disappeared. What exactly did you think you were doing? It was necessary. Without the power of the ore, I could never have defeated the sleeper. What sort of drivel is that? Sleeper? Defeated? Do you have the slightest idea what you have done? You have confused the structure of magic so much that it could be heard back in Corinus. Count yourself lucky that the barrier simply collapsed one day. What are you complaining about? It all worked out all right. Mind your tongue! What the blazes do you want here anyway? I came here with Lares. Lares? Really? Where is he? I'm alone. Lares went back to the city. What? And he sent you to us alone? What was he thinking? I brought your ornament. What in all the world is that supposed to mean? Who gave you that? Don't tell me that Lara simply handed it over to you. Come off it now. I brought it to you. You do want it, don't you? Certainly. But it disturbs me that you have your hand in the game once again. Why are you making such a big deal about that old business with the ore mound? After all, I already worked for you back then. And you can't say that I was unreliable. Oh, and what did it ultimately get me? Hmm. Just don't think that I trust you. I want to join the Ring of Water. What? How do you know about that? Who? Lares? I will kill him. He has broken our first rule. Speak to no one about the Ring of Water. I don't know what I should say. I only trust you where I can keep an eye on you. It was Vatras who told me about the Ring. What? Vatras? Wonderful. Of all the water mages on the island, you run into the one who doesn't know you. I'm warning you, don't do anything stupid this time. I'll make an effort. What are you doing down here? These halls conceal ancient secrets. Mysterious secrets. The inscriptions and murals indicate a very ancient culture. Everything you can see here is written in a language completely unknown to us. We are only just beginning to learn it and grasp its meaning. Why is this ornament so important to you? It is the key to a portal. I shall not tell you more. Since there's no way of stopping you from keeping the other mages from doing their work, you might as well take a message from me to one of them. Tell Riordian that I wish to see him here. He's in the rear part of the vault. You will find him there. Hey! What are you doing? I'm studying the culture of the ancient people. Based on the inscriptions, they lived long before our time. I don't know exactly when they erected these halls, but their civilization was highly developed. They built a city on the other side of the mountains, and a temple for Adonos. A lost city on the island of Corinus? Yes. Until now, we lived in the belief that we knew the whole island. We assumed that the entire northeast of the island was one enormous mountain range. But we were wrong. Behind these mountains lies a valley. The city of the ancient people was located there. I would only too gladly see the buildings of the city, but they have probably fallen to dust long ago. Saturas wants to see you. Has he gotten further with his investigation? Then I will go to him immediately. If you want to learn more about this complex, talk to Nefarious. You'll find him farther back in these vaults. Wait a minute. How old do you think this place is? Well, I still can't say exactly, but it must be several hundred years old. 
Found out anything new? It has been confirmed. The ancient culture did indeed believe in Adonis. Hey! Can you teach me anything about magic? So that you can once again interfere with the magical structure? No, I have no time for such games. Busy? These vaults are one big mystery for me. It's hard to imagine that no one else found them before now. We were able to uncover the entrance without difficulty. People are so occupied with their daily routine that no one looked more closely at this structure. I have no other explanation for it. What is your task here? I'm trying to find out where this round portal leads. Besides that, I help Nefarious look for the missing ornament. It is certain that this portal leads to another part of the island that we do not yet know. I can't remember ever having heard or read about that. You really want to go through the portal? Of course. Assuming we find that missing ornament, that is. I admit, it is a somewhat risky business. But we must absolutely find out what it has to do with these constant earthquakes. What do you know about the earthquakes? Something on the other side is causing them. The source is probably also causing the stone sentinels to awaken. But that isn't my job. Saturus and Kronos can tell you more about that. What do you think you will find over there? I'm really not sure. I suspect that on the other side there will be a structure similar to this one, and a counterpart to this portal. Everything else we shall see when we get there. What is the fastest way back to the city? I recommend you go back the same way you came. Hmm, but you could also... No, that would be too dangerous. Out with it. Well, the builders of these halls had their own method of traveling. As far as we can tell, they could teleport. That's nothing special. The teleporter stones that we found here in Corinus are special indeed. It seems as though the teleporter stone here in these halls may lead to the harbor city. However, none of us had the courage to try it. Where is this teleporter stone? There is a door in the basin room. I have locked it up behind there. Give me the key. I want to take a look at this thing. Really? But I take no responsibility for it. Give it here. If you say so, here it is. Where are the other teleporter stones? So far, we've only found one other somewhere in the middle of Corinus, near the Dead Harpy Tavern. Can you teach me anything about magic? Once we're over there, I'll be at your disposal.
Hey, you. How's it going? What are you doing here? This is certainly a surprise. I thought you had been killed. Almost. There was quite a fuss about you, you know that? I hardly recognized Satyras. He was so beside himself about that business back then. What sort of portal is that? We suspect that it leads to the Lost Valley, where the ancient culture must have had their city. But the stone behind the portal is made of massive rock, yards thick. Also, there are no signs of teleportation magic. Very mysterious. Do you know how to activate it? One of the missing ornaments seems to be a sort of magical key. We'll need it to get any further. It has to fit exactly into the ring-shaped hollow next to the portal. I brought a part of the ornament. Really? That's terrific! Do you have any idea where the other parts are? According to the ancient inscriptions, it was broken into four pieces. And it looks as though the parts are still to be found on the island. With Merdarian's help, I have translated some of the inscriptions. There are hints as to where the remaining pieces are. Here, I've marked some of the places on this map. Look around there. You should pay attention to old structures. They might be somewhat deteriorated and no longer clearly recognizable. It could be almost anything. A large rock, a stone circle, a mausoleum, or something similar. But what am I saying? <laughs> You'll find it. Well, good luck. Why was the ornament broken? Whoever did it wanted to prevent the portal from ever being opened again. The longer I stare at the inscriptions, the more I realize that the priests of the ancient culture really were no fools. There was a good reason that they made the region back there inaccessible. We don't know what awaits us there, but it certainly isn't anything good. About the missing ornaments. Yes? How many were there again? There are four in all. You should find the others where I have marked the map. Hey! Everything all right? It's very brave of you to just walk in here. What are you doing here? I'm studying the language of the builders. The language is the key to understanding the ancient people. Each one of us must learn it, or this expedition will be over before it even begins. The builders use stone tablets to pass on their knowledge. Unfortunately, many of them are broken or were stolen long ago. What's on these stone tablets, then? They contain the collected knowledge of the ancient people. Some of them increase knowledge of combat and magic by magical means. For someone who can read the tablets, they are a real treasure. Can you teach me to read the language? Well, why not? I'll gladly pass on my knowledge to you. Teach me that language. We'll start with something easy. To begin with, I can teach you the language of the peasants. As a rule, texts written in the language of the peasants deal with worldly matters such as work, love, or obtaining food. It was the common language of the city. You will be able to understand most of the text found here if you know it. May I bother you for a moment? It's you. I never thought I'd see your face again. It's very brave of you to show up here. There was a time we would have skinned you alive. You can be glad that was a few weeks ago, and we've all calmed down. What are you doing here? My task is to find out more about the Guardians of the Temple. That is a tough nut, let me tell you. These stone sentinels have a characteristic that is utterly foreign to me. One moment they're standing around completely lifeless, and the next they're attacking you like they're possessed. I still haven't been able to determine their driving power, but one thing is sure, it is of magical origin. Tell me more about these stone sentinels. I can't tell you much so far. Unfortunately, we have had to destroy them. Now, they aren't dangerous. When we came here, they attacked us. 
We could only defeat them with our combined power. And I'm afraid there are even more waiting for us behind the portal. There must be a way to banish their driving force so that they remain nothing more than statues. Can you sell me some equipment? Why not? If I remember correctly, we've already done business. Tell me what you need. Look who's just turned up. The farmer boy. You're just in time. Who are you anyway? That's none of your business. If I wanted to tell you who I am, I'd have done it already. Got it? What do you want from me? Are you still having problems with the city guards? I'll give you problems, you punk. I'm looking for a fellow. He isn't anywhere to be found in the city, and these losers here don't have a clue either. He's thin, dark-haired, and he usually wears red armor. As far as I know, he used to be a prisoner in the colony. I think his name starts with a D. I don't know anyone who meets that description. I might have known. Anything else? Yeah, you big mouth. Is there something else? I need weapons, I need provisions, and gold wouldn't be bad either. Gold? We all want gold. Could be. And what would you do with it? Drink your way through it in the tavern, or blow it in the brothel if I'm any judge. And you have a better plan, huh? You would crawl under a rock if you knew all I've done. So none of that cheek, or I'll shut your big mouth for you. Didn't you find a weapons dealer in the city? You can't be serious. They only have junk. Here's ten gold coins. <laughs> you poor sucker. You can keep your dough. I have a better idea. There's a cave not far from here. I've been around here before and I buried my stuff in a few places. The cave is too dangerous for me alone. I want you to help me with it. Let's visit the cave. Come with me. One less monster around.
All right, friend. Here's the cave. And here's a pick for you. I buried the stuff somewhere in there. X marks the spot. What are you waiting for? Go inside and get the stuff. What about you, then? Someone has to guard our backs. And now, in you go.